On this day in 1980, Mount St. Helens blew its top at 8.32 in the morning. The massive eruption triggered landslides, mud flows, and floods that killed 57 people and caused vast amounts of damage to timber, land, businesses, and wiped out entire neighborhoods. The explosion blew off the top 1,300 feet of the volcano, mm. uh, sending ash tens of thousands of feet into the sky. All of that ash coming down on top of communities, even crossing state lines. The ash would eventually go on to circle the globe. Yeah, you're looking at some of the only footage of the exact moment Mount St. Helens erupted 42 years ago. Remember, a lot fewer video cameras were available then. Uh, it's a short, grainy video. No one exactly knows uh, the exact moment that the mountain exploded. We want to see or hear your memories of that day. Send us a text or a photo. Share your experience. Send them into 206 448 One of you already texting in. We moved to Shelton uh, in uh, 1980. My sixth birthday. Then a few days later, the mountain blew. Oh, Thanks, happy John. birthday. Yeah, happy <laughs> birthday. Thanks, John, for sending that in. Uh, Pam in Puyallup. My husband was in the service at the time station at Spokane at Fairchild. I heard what I thought sounded like booms you would hear with artillery out at Fort Lewis. We got three inches of ash in Spokane. Yeah, a lot of ash reported that yeah. day. Yeah. Uh, Rich Marriott was there, a big part of um, the coverage, the research of what happened too, I suppose, right? Tell us about that moment. Yeah, well, I, uh, fortunately I was not there the morning of, actually. Yeah. When it blew up, I was sleeping in Greenwood. So that was a, that's a, that was a happy happenstance, but I've been down there about a week and a half before that. We spent, my partner and I, Mark Moore, we started the Northwest Avalanche Center. We were working down there prior to the eruption in the red zone, doing forecasting of avalanches and mountain weather for all the scientists that were in there working on the vol uh, volcano itself. Yeah. So it kept us active and down there. We got to meet Harry Truman, hang out with him a little bit. Uh, one of the interesting things, one of the stories that isn't told a whole lot that people may not know is that that they, all these residents that lived in, down at, uh, yeah. there at the base of uh, the mountain, right around uh, the lake, uh, Spirit Lake, they brought those in for the first time that Saturday. And all these people decided they wanted to spend the night in their houses mm, wow. before they were going to go back. And the sheriffs forced them to leave. I still remember the coverage and people were really upset. If they had not left, they would have all died yeah. because that wow. all got pushed into the lake. Everyone except Harry Truman, right? Harry is the one. He stuck around. Well, you stay, Harry, yeah. there were yeah, there were a few people that did yeah. stick around, but Harry never left. So well, and he still hasn't for that matter. Yeah. So that's, he was quite a character. What a day! Forty uh, forty two years ago. That's, that's hard so to long believe. Ago. Yeah, seriously.